And then the next thing he says is this. He says, don't just bow your head. Don't just pray a prayer. Instead, pick up your cross. There's a lot of people I'm worried about who have made a false assumption about their salvation because of a decision you made when you were six. He said, I prayed a prayer. Yeah, but are you carrying that cross? Or did you put that cross down 15 years ago? He says, he's going to carry a cross. Now, for the disciples, this would have been scandalous for them. I mean, just think about it. For these disciples, you can't even talk about a cross in public. The Roman emperor or the Roman historian Cicero, what he would say is this, that the cross was so shameful, it was illegal to mention crucifixion in public. What Jesus is saying right here is technically illegal for them. The cross was the most painful, brutal death known in the history of mankind that they didn't even have a word to describe it, so they invented a word called excruciating, which literally means from the cross. And the Jewish people in the region, as they would hear this, they would, they would know because 20 years before Jesus was born, there was a man they thought was the Messiah. His name was Judas of Galilee. He led an insurrection against Rome, and then Caesar killed him and had all of the men from Galilee crucified at eye level, some three to 5,000 men from Galilee to Jerusalem, basically saying, if you ever cross Rome, you get a cross. And then Jesus says, pick up your cross. So why would Jesus say that? Because he wants you to know the cost of discipleship. He wants you to know that following after him is not going to be a bed of roses and sunshine and Skittles the entire time, that there's going to be dark days and painful days and hard days. There's going to be days that you don't want to do it. There's going to be days that you want to give up and give in and walk away. And on those days, you need to know the weight of the cross because that's just what it means to follow after Jesus. But don't give up and don't give in and don't drop that cross and don't walk away. Some people, they prayed a prayer, but you got to be a one who carries your cross. See, but it's heavy. I know. That's why you shouldn't carry it alone. Get in a community group. So that way you don't have to carry your cross by yourself. You can have 10 other people helping you carry that cross. But if you are a Christian, you will carry a cross. That's just the way that it is. We have way too many crossless Christians. Without a cross, there is no Christ. And no Christ, there is no Christian. Pick up your cross or walk away. 